Welcome back to our channel, Tom and Ollie's. And so today, um, now we just woke up and had breakfast. We stay in Airbnb. Uh, now, um, I presume this trip down in Cork, and I think it will be easier for me to speak in English, just easier. And um, so we stay in the Airbnb this time, and it's like fifteen minutes from Cork city. And they are also pet friendly, so Mongoli is here with us. And um, yesterday, today, beautiful weather, lovely blue sky. So, what I'm gonna do is this video I'm gonna show around like back in 2014 where I used to go and what I've been through uh, the first year when I was in Cork for working holiday. So, would definitely recommend anyone to visits this airbnb it's like um roughly around 80 euro for a night and beautiful hotel i mean that hotel b and b and lovely surrounding there's a river behind um the owner they were lovely they love the animals we have a river just right down there um they love animals so if you have pets you can bring it big massive gardens and they also provide breakfast so what more could you ask so just show you around here and so that's the room we come in and it's kind of lovely upstairs the ceiling and down there so there's a kitchen and behind me there's a bathroom so you're coming down from downstairs Obviously, uh, still with the COVID-19, so it'd be very kind of strict to be wearing a um, mask around the house. And there's another kind of playing room for, I suppose, for children or their grandchildren. And there's another television. And there's a fish tank there. So, I'm going to over there. Yes. It's the kitchen. Oh, nice. so, uh, came around outside the garden with the weather. Beautiful. And we have breakfast outside. And over there they have a massive barbecue house, which is lovely. And also just the river right, right down there. So that's the back of the house. So this video basically we're just gonna tour around uh Cork City and maybe visit a few places I used to go and then it's kinda of bring back the memories for me back in 2014 and like I was here and all I have was two thousand euro for a whole year, try to get a job and live in this country in the new city for me. Um we probably gonna pop down to Cove, which is one of my favorite little village. There was a Titanic museum. You can jump on a train when the weather is good. Lovely little cafe. You can have like salmon, smoked salmon sandwich, and beautiful houses around different colors. And the farthest way we're probably gonna go to Ross Carberry, and it's just a little bit kind of what you probably consider is like West Cork, down a little bit more south. Also, it'd be lovely to visit Kingsale, which I already been through. Kingsale, uh, I think it was last summer. If you look at the video, it'd be speaking Mandarin. Um, so basically, just I have a couple of days free before next week back to work. So we were trying to make the best, especially the weather is good. So hopefully I can get some tips and for whoever is watching the, this video to tour you around Cork and 
Cork is a beautiful city. It's full of the cultures and there's a good selections of food, of course, shopping and scenery, place to visit. So yeah, so we're gonna see where we're gonna go today then. So where we are here is passing through um, Benton and if you come before the, there was another one you can visit it's called the Benton uh, Pottery and also now we are passing through here is called the Glenview Garden so uh, if you bring your kids you could definitely visit here there was a lot of kind of specially made like the fairy trail and a piper garden it's very big and uh, it's add out for six euro for children it's three euro and under three years old it's free so you can spend another maybe half hour walk around here and they were very well organized here i'm just going to show you around all the flowers so you have a japanese garden here as a call come over inside all the different uh, isos japanese isos a little pond this is a little bridge, the bamboos. <laughs> so you come in over this area is all the rhododendrons, and behind there is kind of little fairy's house. They also have a lot of animals here, birds. And the Japanese garden was behind, and over here, there was kind of like Chinese Asian garden as well. So look here. So this is the little houses. And then over here, it's the fairy land. So I think you can get more information on their website as well. And all the little kind of small tiny houses for the fairies. It's very very well organized this garden. Beautiful. So that's the little house when you came in here. And you can see upstairs this two of the swallows nests. On this way up, you can see they have so many different type of dinosaurs hiding. There's another one here. And they make like little monkeys, donkeys, opacas. the baby dinosaur so after the garden here you can come by to this uh, very famous tourist town it's called Connor County yeah. and if you like fresh lovely chips and fish and chips you have to try the chunky chips just right in the town and here's the village so um, here we come to Kinsale which I didn't Oh, we were from here, but um, the weather was so good. And we just come by uh, the coast line back to Cork City. And unfortunately, because today is Sunday, so because today is Sunday, and um, in most places, uh, the tunnel we're passing through is nothing really open, so that's why I didn't kind of go around. And otherwise, probably during the week, you have a lot of chores. And Kingsale was lovely. There was a lot, lovely, good seafood restaurant. There was a one by the harbor. Also, do very good uh, fish and chips. And it's like 30 minutes from Cork City. So if you stay in Cork, you come down for the day. And uh, there's a lot of places to go around here. And then small like souvenir shop. They also have a local market. So that's 
our day today and tomorrow we'll probably tour a little bit of the English market and probably a little bit of the Cork City and yeah that would be the video of the day. Where we are now is the following day and we're in the place it's called the Ballymerlo house so basically this is kind of well known in Ireland they does like through cook like cookbooks recipes homemade jam chutney relish and there's house here and they're gonna be open around uh next wednesday same as anywhere else uh hospitality and on the website is about 275 200 to stay over with the breakfast including it and so basically they do also have a school which the garden is over there and the Bali Malu house here is just a house behind me there was a little shop and you can get like takeaway coffee they do selling a few small bits and um you can take them take them take out so we're just gonna show you around the shop and we're gonna head down to the garden after here well, now we are just coming to the shop have a look around here So as I was mentioned earlier, so they do sell a little bit of their own brand. As you can see, there's uh, radish, jelly, uh, sauce. Most popular and well known is their sauce. They do have like their programs and books, and they're also selling a little bit of the souvenirs. Some clothes in here. And down over this side is the pottery. So, as I love buying the pottery, so every time I see something different, I always like to get a few different pottery and ceramic from different uh, location. Just something that you can use it, and also as a memory. So I think the tea shop is just down over behind there, and you can get a little coffee or pastry. So we gotta take it and you follow the you get a map and little stickers and then you also got a little keys on your strainer. Um follow the map and walk around. So this one is called a herb garden and I saw one earlier it's called kitchen garden. So I presume there's all the different kind of small area with different styles and designs and i say you're probably gonna go walk around here for a while and if you near uh, cork city and you're looking for somewhere to visit you can come here and you can see the cookery school it's just on the way uh, before you come in there uh, you can see a lot of students there and there's also the the cooking school so here's the pond garden and just another one there so it's quite big so you probably need to spend some time to check out everything i'm just kind of walk around still find different places to visit and i think you can do like uh, they do two different course here for like one is kind of long term one is like five weeks and i won't go any further with the, the fee and the price but apparently if you're doing here there's accommodations and uh you can see all the process like how like from the beginning to the ends and that's why a lot of them will be counted in the cost for the fee to do the cooking school here and now just gonna show you we found the shower house and it looks amazing so there we go is the house and outside the shape looks like that and there was a water running just surrounds by the house and there was a little kind of information and details on it and so basically inside it's like all the different type of showers and uh, upstairs looks like a massive a starfish 
all the windows, the fresh flowers, all the colors. So coming here is the glass house. You see the tomatoes going crazy here. Tomatoes, if you go on outside in Ireland, you probably get nothing in the whole year. And like when the heat, the special cucumber, um, pumpkin, everything, be perfect to go inside. Because rain most of the time and nothing will go in outside in the garden. You definitely need a glass house like this. Coming here is English Market, and it's one of the most places I miss so much because you get all the fresh food and seafood every day. And it's just so near, just right in the city, and so you can get the fresh food, a good price, and cook yourself. But they are big, so good though. So as you can see here was very popular because Queen of England was visited here uh, back in 2011, 25th of May. 